You can't just sit there all day drinking coffee. Oh, sorry, love. It's just I thought this was a greasy spoon. I'm proud of my grease. What am I meant to do here, then? Star jumps? The Macarena? Top up. No, they didn't touch my cup too much. Germs. Now, you may think you look squeaky clean in your slacks and your shirt, love, and camel coat. There's always just a hint of the tide mark about you, just here. We always miss when you wash. How are you? If I'm honest, I was a bit upset last night. But I realise now, summer comes first, which is why I'm researching eating disorders. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know what other explanation it could be. Just maybe put the brakes on that. She's got her AS levels at the moment. It's probably not the best time to be bringing all that up with her. My landline. I forgot you even had one. Summer? All right, sweetheart, just calm down. Uh, uh, in the bathroom? On the on the, the shelf by the loo. I saw it earlier. Ask her if she's eating anything. Uh, oh, all right, calm down. Calm down. All right, look. Good luck with your exam. She couldn't find a phone. She panics because she drinks those energy drinks. That's not good for anyone. It's really helpful you shouting out like that. Who without you shouting about food while I'm on the phone to her? Oh, brush it under the carpet, why don't you? No, no, I just need you to let me handle some of my way. Who's the daddy? Just Todd, why does she have to make a joke out of everything? Just call me Joan Rivers with a pulse. This, this is why I wanted to cool things between us so I could focus on her. You just couldn't fight that animal magnetism, eh, Billy Boy? Todd! Look, I'm worried about her. You know that. Oh, I know. I know we both are. You know, maybe I, I, sh I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions about the eating disorder thing. I, I don't want to make Summer feel more isolated than she already is. Has Summer got an eating disorder? Uh, no. Mind your own nosy old. Yeah, uh, 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 do you mind not repeating that? I mean, we were just surmising. We could get arrested for that. <laughs> don't go giving me dirty looks. That was your big mouth, not mine. Yeah, but have you seen him, though? He is a total disappointment. Who? Concentrate. I've been going on about him for the past 85 years. Who are you on about? Mr Dowell. Thump. He lets the sixth form call him Toby. I'm assuming that's his first name. Oh, yeah, Mr Dowell, the, the new maths teacher. Yeah, and there's something so weird about a teacher letting you call him by his first name. But did you see him by the girls' lose the other day? He's really good at splits. Just what you need in a teacher. <laughs> What are you going on about him for? He started at our school during lockdown, so the first time I saw him was on Zoom, and I was like, oh, my days, he is totally fit. But then, when we went back in, and I saw him in the actual flesh, he looks like an alpaca. Oh, I so couldn't go out with a bloke with hairy hands. I would actually vom. See, I don't mind hairy hands, but I don't mind if a guy wears nail varnish and stuff. You have to be Harry Styles to pull that stuff off. And guy liner. Quite like that, too. What are you looking for in there? They mean the life. She's looking for guy liner. Oh, left my notes under my bed. I'm losing everything today. Right, I won't be long. Do you want me to come with you? Uh, no. Well, hurry up. If the bus comes, I'm getting it. I don't want to be late for my exam. You don't... Oh, Summer. I'm glad I've seen you. Oh, uh, you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? You lost weight. I'm sorry. I just, you know, want you to know that if uh, whatever's going on in your life, you know, uh, you can talk to me. Why would I need to...? I heard your Billy and your Todd saying that you had an eating disorder. And I'm here if you want to talk. I'm a dead good listener. All ears kind of thing. And I won't go blabbing to no-one. I have an exam I need to get to. 